In this video, I want to provide you with five quick tips for getting started with GameGuru Max. If you're new to Max, you're probably pretty anxious to start your first game. I want to help you get there faster by sharing a few tips and bringing you up to speed as quickly as possible. If you're a seasoned vet with Max, maybe this video isn't for you, but I'd still encourage you to watch it all the way through because you never know what you might learn. Plus, I'd love it if you posted some comments with any tips or advice that you uh, may have that maybe I don't cover. So stick around either way. Let's get started. Tip number one, review the manual. You can find the manual in a number of different ways, either by clicking on the user guide tab in the hub, like I have here, and that opens the document. Uh, you can also find it in the level editor or in the storyboard. There's a help menu and you can find the, the option there as well. Um, this 240 plus page document has a lot of great information and provides a strong foundation to work from. Now I'm not suggesting you read the whole thing cover to cover. Just browse through it and see what topics interest you the most and start reading those. Be familiar with the information it contains so you'll be ready to jump back to it if you need to read more later. Chances are some of the questions you have at this stage are covered by this document. Tip number two, join the Discord community. I'll leave a link to the Game Guru Max Discord in the description below. If you haven't already joined, this is a great opportunity to meet like-minded developers working with the software. Some have been using TGC products for years and years, others are just getting started like you and everywhere in between. Read all the channels frequently and try to keep up with the discussions even if you don't participate. You'd be amazed at how much you can pick up just by being in the same room with some of these guys. If you have a question, you can ask it here as well, but be sure that you've tried tip number one first, because trust me, nobody wants to read the manual to you. Tip number three, play all of the demo games and then open them in the edit mode and see how they were made. Pay attention to the flow of the level, the lighting, the way the behaviors are set up and the set design. Take notes on things that you like and things that you don't. What would you have done differently? Can you improve the design? You can import these existing levels into your project and then edit them and use them as a starting point. Tip number four, spend some time optimizing your settings to suit you. Just like you might do on day one of that new game you just installed, you wanna spend some time making sure that the settings selected are going to provide you with the best results for you. I have my preferences, yours might be different, but either way, spend some time looking through these settings, understanding them and optimizing them will pay huge dividends over time. If you're not sure what a setting does, refer to tip number one. Tip number five, take your time. Believe me, I know how exciting it is and how much we want to get started cranking out new projects and share with our friends, maybe even sell one day. I get it, but nothing worth doing or playing can be achieved in a day or a week or even a month. Plan your projects out carefully before you even start making your first level. Think through the story you're trying to tell, the game mechanics you want to include, and the progression you want the player to achieve. The best games out there were planned meticulously before the, even the first object was ever added to the game world. Doing this sort of planning will ensure smooth development experience for you and a fun game experience for your player. For example, you don't want to suddenly throw some new game mechanic at them right before a major fight or a challenging puzzle with no time to learn and understand what to do. Following this tip will save you and your players a ton of frustration and lead to a better experience for both of you. Failing to plan, after all, is planning to fail. And that's it. Hopefully these tips were helpful to you and lead to a better outcome overall. If you've enjoyed the video or learned something new, I surely would appreciate you clicking the like button. That helps me know that I've done a good job and makes me feel good too. If you're watching this video, odds are you're new to the channel as well, so don't forget to subscribe while you're down there next to the like button. I usually do a couple of videos a week and plan to cover all the behaviors in Max as well as any other topics that might you know, help people learn the software. If you'd like a notification for those videos, the bell icon is your friend in that case because I often mention I don't keep a regular schedule, so be sure to click that as well. Thanks so much for watching all the way through to the end. It means a lot to me and I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.